Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. This is Chrissy here and today we're going in with a full get ready with me. We're going to go in with makeup, we're going in with fashion, chats, tips, all of the details, all the juice is here, okay? You ready to sip with me? So we're going to go into our makeup first and establishing our look that I'm still trying to figure out what the lip is going to be, but we'll get there. We'll get it together. It's going to all come together. So I am gonna start off with a fresh, clean face, ready to dive into this look. I've already set my brows with the NYX um, brow gel, and I've been using that in substitute of the Anastasia Beverly Hills, just trying out something different. You know, just wanna get that bang for your buck, because the NYX, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it's neck and neck with the Anastasia right now. So we're gonna go right into our brows first and getting these babies together. And I'm going in with the Benefit Precisely My Brow number four pencil. Same drill. Always go in with this first. I need my eyebrows to be done before I start doing my eyeshadow because I feel like then I know how far up I wanna go. I know some people do their brows after the shadow. I can't, it's not for me. So I'd like to start with my bottom line first and creating my outline. So I wanna get this line right here nice and defined. Give me my guide here. And then we're gonna go in with the other end. And we're just gonna blend that up into the brow. Using the spoolie. Moving the product upward. And now I'm gonna start in, not at the very beginning of the brow, but just right behind it and start doing my hair strokes up. Spoolie these babies out. Blending my hairs in the product together. All right, so we're gonna go in with the MAC NW30 concealer pot, same drill. I don't think I can switch on my what I used to clean on my brows up because I feel like this cream formula, like it just does it for me. Like it covers my hairs up because I am growing my brows out. So it covers my hairs up so good. And it just blends out so well when I buff it out with the brush. So I don't have that like kind of like halo effect around the brows. Might as well take it in between there. I mean, it's not really a lot of product on the brush, but just taking it in between there because a lot of times, of course, with a small detail brush, you can get in between there or like with a good beauty blender and just blending this area out. But this is always like a blank space, of course, like when you're doing your brows. So you can maybe just drag your concealer in this area and just, you know, blend it out. And I wanna go in here and just do some strokes down into it with the concealer, whatever is left over on the brush to kind of make it a little bit softer in this area. And I don't know what made me go into this, but I have not used this in forever. And that's the LA Girl Pro Conceal. And I used to use this all the time and I was just like, okay, it's only like a couple bucks for $3 or so at the hair store. So I'm gonna go back into this and prime my eyelid. I don't know what we're doing today, but I'm trying to be cute to wherever we go. So I am gonna use this flat concealer brush and I'm gonna just blend out my primer that I'm using for my lid, which is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Quick Cheap Primer. And I am dragging it inward to the bridge of my nose and just dragging it out a little bit and just kind of patting it. I'm gonna go in with the Cover FX Blurring Primer. And I'm gonna really focus the primer in to the places I get oily the most. And that's like the inner part of my face here, my chin. I mean, I put the primer on all over my face, but I really focus in on this area. So next we're gonna go into a simple eyeshadow look. I'm gonna go in with the Nightingale by Pretty Vulgar. And I'm just gonna put a nice little color there into the transition. I'm gonna use Hide and Seek. So now we have our transition color there, just like a light um, transition color. I'm gonna go in with the Flip Out. 
And I'm gonna take a smaller brush and just kind of define it a little bit in the crease. Okay, so we just took that into the crease there, flip out to just kind of deepen up the crease. And I feel like I wanna go in with a gray eye, but I see a lot of times that people always do like the grays, the 50 shades of gray basically to get to the smoky eye, or the 50 shades of black to get to the smoky eye. But for me, I feel like it just looks better and more natural to do browns in your crease and your transition color. And I mean, of course, the gray and the black is gonna deepen it up some. So next, I'm in the same palette still, pretty vulgar, Nightingale. And this came in a boxy charm for this month as well. So I've been dying to play in it. So I'm happy that I am getting into this look now with y'all. But yeah, so I'm trying to make sure, this is a clean brush. Just trying to make sure everything is blended out. No harshness with the two colors that we just put together. Now, we're gonna go in and pack on some color. I'm gonna use the brush that I use to lay down a primer for my eyeshadow. So just using a flat brush. And I'm gonna pick up the color Silver Spoon right here. So right now I'm just kinda of like stamping my placement. And we're gonna blend it out, but I'm gonna do the other eye first. All right, so we got a nice coat here. All right, so now with our nice coat here, we're gonna go back to our blending brush and we're going to make sure, mm, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the brown. Just a little bit, like literally this. So just making sure everything is blended out. So like this is my version of a nice smoky eye and literally I'm just going in with a dab of the brown. And the reason why I'm taking the brown is because I don't want to overdo it with the gray. I'd rather blend out the brown to blend it upward than to have too much gray going on and I can't tone that back down, really. All right, so we got action. We got action, okay? All right, so now that we have our transition going and we have the gray there, I wanna go back in with the first color that we began with. And again, I'm just reinforcing, and it never hurts to reinforce, but I'm gonna reinforce the hide and seek, which was that first color that we went into. And just making sure it's not too harsh here with the browns that we just went in with. So this color like is more like my flesh tone color. So I'm just making sure like my layers still are there and reinforcing everything. So I'm thinking, I've been playing in this color right here, the Break Free. I just think it's so pretty. So this is like the moment of truth basically where you wanna add a color and you wanna play in it, but this is your first time into all of this and you don't know if it's gonna come out 100% alright, but that's what makeup is for. We're supposed to be experimenting. So I'm gonna use my finger and I'm gonna go in with the color Break Free. And we're gonna press it in the center. I need to blend her out just a little bit on those outside corners. Okay. So I've been dying to get into this palette and I got it as a gift for Christmas and I have not used this palette yet. And this is the Fenty Beauty palette. palette. This is the Galaxy palette. And I wanna go in, this is my closest version I can get of some shimmers right now, and glitters. So this is like my metallics or whatever that I can use, but they're very um, transparent. So you really need to have like that base color there that I'm hoping that this color that we just used from the Pretty Vulgar palette just created for us. And I'm gonna go in with, I think, this one right here, and this is Milky Way. And the same brush that we used just to blend out the outer part, I'm gonna pick it up and press it in the center. So, I am not a pro at the wing liner. I'm not about to fake the front for y'all, but I do wanna do a tight line into my lash line. This is by Butter London. <laughs> this came in the Boxy Charm subscription, I think for this month or last month. But this is the Stroke of Wow Roll On Precision Liner. 
So we're just going to go into really close. I'm not going to take it up like a wing, but I'm going to take it all the way into the corner here. I don't need to do this. I just need to stick to what I know, and that is a pencil. Crystal. Go to your pencil. This is the Bare Minerals Lasting Line. All I was trying to do was smoke out this lash line. Just a little bit. And then look what line I just tried to play me. Now we can get into the face, okay? We got the brows together for now. We got our eyeshadow going. Got our little drama there. I feel like I wanna go for some more drama and we're gonna finish up the under eye after we do our face and set in our overall face. So we already have our primer on. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me favorite right now. I don't know if that's gonna change here in the winter season, but we shall see. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this on the back of my hand. I never really like to pour product directly on my brush. Of course, um, I feel like it just clogs your brush up way more than just picking it up and placing it on your face. And this is the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. And I love this brush, like to kind of just buff in your makeup, just exactly what it says the name is, because I really feel like it gives you like that even finish, like that airbrush flawless finish. Okay, blend it out. And I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and just pressing everything in, making sure we are blended, reinforcing that blending that we just did. Okay, next I wanna go in with the combo. And that's gonna go in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal that we just used to make our base for our eyeshadow. And I'm gonna go in and lay that. And I think I wanna try this out. I I feel like I used to use Pro, Pro uh, LA Pro Girl. And I don't know why I put this to the back because I feel like it was hot at one point and I just probably just got onto something new trying out a new concealer. I am going to still go in with my Cover FX Power Play and put in that on as well because I feel like this is like bomb coverage. It is just that it's not moving nowhere. It's staying and lasting all day. Now with our concealer blended, we're gonna go in and I have not used this in quite some time now, but again, another product I don't know why I stopped using, but probably just got onto something new and that's the Studio Fix um, NW30. And I think I'm gonna just use this to brush all over where I just put the concealer at. And I'm just gonna dust this everywhere. I still, I'm still gonna bake, but I'm just gonna dust this everywhere that I just put the Concealer. I need everything to stay in place, okay? Not drip or melt away, so we're setting everything that we are doing. So I feel like once you get your your concealer down, it's like almost like you have the outline there to where your contour is gonna go. So you can kind of follow that guide or just go ham with the con contour like I do. So we're gonna go in, and I feel like this is something I used to use as well, especially for my nose to kind of give me that precision. Contour on these cheeks, bring it upward. This forehead, five head, whatever you wanna call it, Rihanna head, the jawline that I used to forget <laughs> all the time, clearly, when I first started doing it. Contouring out the nose here and just making sure we blend that out very good. We're gonna go in and bake just a little bit and that's with the Satra Buttercup. And with the baking process, you definitely wanna make sure you are making this as even as possible and wherever you don't want it to be at, just brushing it away and not letting that set into your face. So I am gonna bring it up the nose some to where we just put the contour and also bringing it down underneath my nose because this is where I get oily at on my face and this is the area that I most want to make sure is mattified. So where we put that baking powder at, I just wanna brush away a little bit here um, because I don't want it to be too 
um, cake on my nose. So I just want to keep that really thin there, whatever. And also just making sure that I don't have it too harsh here. So I'm just gonna go in with the brush and just press out some areas. I did put some here. I'm not gonna let that set as long as I do underneath my eyes because I don't want that ghost shadow like underneath my jawline. But while this is marinating, I'm gonna go in with the Give Me Sun by MAC. And I'm gonna go in with my large brush here and I'm just gonna warm up the face. No, I'm gonna go in with my smaller brush here to warm up the face. And I want to keep the drama on the eyes so I'm not trying to bring it too much drama to the face but of course to snatch the face. So I'm just really sweeping over everywhere that we put that LA Pro Girl. LA Pro Conceal. LA Girl Pro Conceal. <laughs> and with that same small brush that we were just using, well, I'm going to use this one since it's clean this brush here. I'm just gonna take a little bit on the brush here, tapping off the excess, and just dragging it down my nose. I like to go up to my brow to kind of just snatch it all the way there. I'm gonna brush off this part underneath my jawline, well, underneath my cheek line, I'm sorry. And that has baked enough for me to my liking. While we're doing that, while we're letting that set just a little bit more, I'm gonna go in and just go in my under eye right now and just basically doing those same colors, but I'm going to reverse them. So same steps of the colors, but just in reverse to where I want it to be the fade out on the bottom. But you know what, matter of fact, let's just brush away all of it. So this here, I do want to stay, but I'm just gonna press and sweep. So a clean brush here, and I'm just blending, making sure my contour is soft. So it's always good to have a good clean brush, like your blending brush for your foundation um, or your, your beauty blender, and also a clean brush for when you're doing your eyeshadow. So that way you're not, if you don't want to pick up more product and you just want to blend out the area that you're in, you can do that really simply with just a clean brush and not having to worry about cleaning that brush, wiping off the product that you already had on there, putting the wrong product in the wrong place, all of those things. Like, we do not want that. We want to keep our makeup simplified and pretty and simple, easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl, <laughs> all of that. Okay, so we're going to take those same colors and put them in reverse. So we're going to start with the hide and seek. Put a little bit on the brush. Next, we're gonna go in with the flip out and just picking up a little bit of that on the brush as well. And taking it all the way to the inner corner. Okay, so now that we have our colors reversed underneath, I went ahead and I took the um, Sephora pencil that I got. This is just in the color silver. Precious silver is the name of it. And I just went underneath and just demonstrating. Just went underneath and to my waterline and slightly under. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and next up, let me tell y'all something and I'm just gonna keep it real. I did forget to blend out my lips so I went ahead and did that off camera. Sorry, but I told you I would do it. And we're gonna set our overall face. This is the Glam Glow Glow Setter. Bathing in it. Next what I like to do and I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter um, and Reezy. And I like to do this right when I just set my face and that's apply my highlighter. So this is what I use for placement um, as far as my cheeks and for my nose, I just go on my finger down the bridge of my nose. And I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush and just blend out a buff in my highlighter. So now we have highlighter right into concealer and I want to kind of like break that up some. So I am going to go in, I am going to go in with some blush. I'm just going to use the one that I used to wipe off the excess um, setting powder and I'm just going to go in between. So kind of like breaking up where we just put the highlighter to the contour and warming up the face. And this is the peach. My favorite blush ever. This is the Lorac Plush Luxe. 
Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the mascara. And I'm gonna do a coat, and this is the Superhero by It. I am trying out a new mascara only for today, and just trying out something different to give another mascara a chance. I still don't feel like nothing is gonna top my Better Than Sex um, mascara by Too Faced, but this is something I did say I was gonna try out, and this came in a boxy charm for October. At the same time, I'm gonna go in and just plop on my bottom lashes. Mascara, putting a coat of mascara on my bottom lashes. And we're gonna go in with the drama even more. We're just gonna go drama, drama, drama with this look, okay? Since we already are there, we're snatching the face, we're smoking out the eyes, we adding that pop of color there. We're just gonna add more drama with the Mykonos Lashes by Lily Lash. This is the lash. All right, so mirror here, looking down. Drama on the lashes, drama on the lid, drama on the contour. Mm. So moving on the lips, and this is the final step here. I was in between my lip colors. I'm for sure gonna use my new lip pencil, and this is the Sephora lip pencil in the color Naked. And okay, I was in between my colors, but I think I'm gonna go with these are my color choices here. Um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, liquid matte and I was gonna use the NARS striptease or the chic appeal by NYX and then the butter gloss by NYX as well in the color tiramisu so it's either these two or these two I'm gonna use stripped so we got stripped on the lips this is like my favorite nude and I just want to top it a little bit with the um, Striptease by NARS, which is pretty sheer, but gives me that gloss that I want. Okay, so this is the final look. I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed right quick and show y'all the final look of what I'm gonna be wearing stepping out for a date night here. And just the final outcome of this outfit, this sleigh, this hair. Thank you so much for staying tuned for as long as you did. This was fun for me. This is a new look. I like to play in, of course, my palettes and new makeup. So this is pretty, pretty good, I think. All right, be back in a second with the look, okay? Cool. Okay, this is the final look. Ready for date night, ready for bae. Sure, he's ready for me by now probably overweighted for me by now but anyways this is the final look you guys i hope you are loving this look because i feel sexy my man gonna be smiling right <laughs> but this is the look you guys hope you love it this skirt is from h&m so is this sweater this is a remix outfit we can revamp those same looks that we already have in our closet we don't always have to go out and buy a new look these thigh highs are from auto i have them for some time now I thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. Make sure you like and subscribe to my video and also make sure you hit the bell, double tap there so you can be notified with all my new videos. Bye, till next time. Also, last but not least, be prissy for the love of glam. Guys, until you really get into that full front. Ugh. I've already set my brows with the NYX, um, <laughs> really? <laughs> you caught. Yeah, babe. Like, <laughs> that just gonna tiptoe across the floor. Hey. What, babe? <laughs> You're so petty. I mean, you act like it's not gonna be hurt. <laughs> I could cut this part out <laughs> if I need to. I wish I knew how to arch one eyebrow. Like that. <laughs> Epic fail. Pretty vulgar palette. Oops. That's so clumsy. And it's the Butter London Stroke of Bra Stroke of Wow. Roll on OMG. Oh, it just played me. It's all right, Crystal.
Oh, I just lifted up my eye too quick and the liner just got onto my eyeshadow. Babe, Robert, Robert, can you turn it down some? Can you turn it down some? I'm gonna punch you in your face. We are certainly gonna fight.